if you've been watching the NBA, like I'm sure all of my subscribers have, you know that there's some players that are actually having an amazing season so far. And listen, the 90 overall club in 2K is a very rare club. Very few players ever become a 90 overall ever in their careers. And in this video, I want to talk about the seven players that I believe have become a 90 overall and should become one in NBA 2K21 on the next generation. Que pasa to the pack? It is pack here. AKA your mama's best friend. Hey, quick thing. Follow my new channel. It is just called Pack. Link is in the description. It is where I'm going to be doing my React stuff and my IRL stuff. It would be great if we can make that channel grow. And now I want to get this video started with honorable mentions, as is traditions, because there's some players that I think deserve to be a 90 overall, but it's kind of early and I don't want to like jump the gun. First one is Bam Adebayo. Bam is an 87 overall on the Miami Heat, and he has been, so far this season, the best player on the Heat. You can all disagree with me all you want. You can, I've been, I already mentioned this before I think Bam right now is the best player on the Heat. I think he played better than Jimmy Butler so far this season. I think Jimmy Butler is still an amazing player. Don't get me wrong, but Bam is the best player right now. However, however, Bam has been playing amazing, and he's been the most consistent on the team in my opinion. And he's probably the best defender out of everybody here. So I mean, if we consider Jimmy Butler 93, I think we should consider Bam at least in the 90 overall club. That's just my opinion, but just that's an honorable mention. I want to put my extreme overreaction in this video with Julius Randle. I know you're like, bro, shut up. I, listen, I get it. The Knicks are trash, haha. So far, they're three and three. They've had a good start to the year. They have one of the best defenses in the NBA, but the offense has been terrible. There's only been one player that's been able to keep us alive offensively, and that is Julius Randle. Listen to me when I say this, okay? Let me tell you his stats real quick. He's averaging 21, 10, and eight. Yes, eight assists. He's almost averaging a triple double so far. And the reason is, is because not only can he score in isolation situations, on top of that, when he gets double teamed, because he gets double teamed a lot, because not everyone on this team is great, he kicks it out and they hit an open shot. So he's been basically the only reason his offense is even kind of viable at times. He has been the core of this team. He is the best player. He deserves to be a 90, but that's just an overreaction right now, in my opinion. This one is more of a question. Brandon Ingram, kind of like, I don't know, does he deserve it? I, I don't know. Here's the thing, I like Brandon Ingram, I like his game, I think he got even better than last year, and last year was an 86, and I think he's even better before, and he's even a better shooter. Maybe he's a 90, I don't know. Maybe Pelicans fans can tell me. They've had a good start to the year, from my understanding, they are four and two, they have the second best record in the West right now, I know it's early, but I mean, Brandon Ingram's playing good. I think he deserves to be a 90, probably. So with the Grizzlies, I understand this one's a stream of a reaction. John Morant, I think he's only played three games because he got hurt. Dude has been insane, averaging like 30-something. He has been easily the best player on this team. He was kind of carrying them in the couple of games that they won. But John Morant is hurt now, so we can't really tell. But in, at the time, he was playing like a 90 overall. And finally, this one I, I do not believe in, but I'm going to say just because he deserves to be talked about, Colin Sexton, he has been the best player on the Cavs, and it hasn't even been close, averaging about 25 points, playing on good efficiency. He has been amazing for this team. This team is 4-2 and two right now. Like, they're actually playing very, very well. Colin Sexton is the reason for that. So I think he deserves to be at least mentioned, but I really doubt they're going to continue the success. But who knows? Okay, so at number seven on this list, I'm going to say Christian Wood. Yes, I believe Christian Wood is the second best player on the Rockets today behind James Harden. John Wall deserves to be talked about for sure, but Christian Wood, let me tell you stats, okay? 24 points per game, 11 rebounds, two assists on 2.3 blocks a game. This team is actually pretty good so far. And the reason is not just because James Harden, but because Christian Wood is the perfect complement to this team. He's been playing center for them for so far, and he has been amazing at that position so far. He deserves all the praise. And I think that he's going to continue this throughout the season. I don't think this is just a fluke or a situational thing. I think he's going to be consistently this good. I believe genuinely, genuinely, I believe this. The Rockets got to steal with this man and he's going to be a 90 overall this season. This one might be a little controversial at number six, but I truly believe this Russell Westbrook. He is currently an 88 overall and he started this reason season off pretty good. His three point field percentage is terrible, but that's always been the case. But everything else has been perfect. He plays defense. I know people say Russell Westbrook's bad at defense. No, 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 no. I think he tries really hard on defense. That doesn't mean he's good at it, but at least he tries really hard. That's better than a lot of players in the first place. On top of that, he's averaging 20 points, 13 rebounds, and 12 assists in five games, okay? Even though they have lost every game he has played, which is a bad look, he has not played bad. He just shoots really bad threes. But besides that, he has not played bad. So I believe that he deserves to be at most a 90, but at least a 90. Does that make sense? Okay, so for number five, it's the Celtics, Jalen Brown. If Jason Tatum is a 90, I don't care what anybody says. I know that Jason Tatum is good, and I'm not saying he's not good. 
but Jalen Brown is just as good as him right now. Right now, he has been playing amazing and amazing and consistent. He has been the most consistent players on the Celtics for the past six games. He has been amazing. I think he's destroying the Pistons right now, and he has the most points. Jalen Brown has been amazing. He needs to be a 90 straight up, and I think he's going to stay that way the whole season. Look, man, he's averaging 27.5 points per game, five rebounds, three assists on two steals. He's good at literally everything. 90 overall, easy. And number four, it's playoff P. It's Paul George. He is a 90 overall. I know we have him at 88, and that's because he choked so hard in the playoffs. But it's a new season. He's trying to redeem himself. He's still a defensive juggernaut. He's averaging... 23 points, 5 assists, 6 rebounds on 1.7 steals. They've been playing well besides that one game they got blown out by the Mavericks. He has been very good. He's been amazing. So, he's had a great start so far. I don't, think he's, I don't see him stopping this. So, he's going to be a 90 overall. It's just what happens in the playoffs, who knows. And number 3, I believe 100% Trey Young. He may be actually the worst defender in the NBA, at least statistically. But offensively, he's amazing and he's orchestrating this offense to perfection so far. And even with Danilo Gallinari missing games and struggling, he's still playing amazing. He has been so good. The Hawks have the fifth best record in the East, but I think they're genuinely going to be a good team. They actually beat the Nets and the Nets are a really good team. So I think the Hawks are definitely making the playoffs this year. I think Trey Young has been one of the best point guards in the league so far this season. He's averaging 28 points, 8 assists on 4.5 rebounds. His defense may not be there, but he himself has been fantastic. He's at least a 90 overall, at least. At number 2 on this list, Devin Booker. Now, statistically, it may not be there. 20.5 points per game, 4 rebounds, 4 assists is pretty good. And he's been efficient, but that's not like 90 overall numbers. Let's be real. I mean, last season he was averaging 26 and 26. I mean... We know he can average the points, but he's sacrificing the points this season to win. The Suns have the number one record in the NBA today, 5-1 and one right now. They are 5-1, and one, and Devin Booker has been the best player. Obviously, they're winning because Chris Paul. Chris Paul's a winner. Every time he goes to a team, they start doing really well. But Devin Booker has been the best player on this team, straight up. And he has done everything he can to make sure they win, and he's even playing good defense. So Devin Booker has to be a 90 overall. When you're the best team in the NBA right now, and you're the best player on it, you have to be at least a 90 overall. That's like the rules, right? And finally, uh, I'm 100% confident in this one. Bradley Beal on the Wizards. You know how I said Russell Westbrook deserves to be a 90? I believe Bradley Beal is the best player on the Wizards. So he also deserves to be a 90, at least, or even more, 91, 92. Dude's amazing. He's averaging 31 points, 5 assists, 5 rebounds on 2 steals. So he's playing good defense, right? And even though he's having a terrible field goal percentage so far, he's averaging 31 points. Imagine when he starts to find his shot a little bit more. He's going to be averaging like 35, and that's with Russell Westbrook on the team shooting a lot. That's insane to me. Are they losing? Yes, they are losing. But that might not happen for the rest of the year. They might get better. Who knows? So I think 100%. If Bradley Beal is playing like this now, and he's going to be playing better throughout the year, he has to be at least a 90. Maybe even a 92. For real. That is what I believe. That is my opinion. I'm sure you're going to have your opinion. So let me know in the comments below. And if you like this channel, give it a sub. And I'll see you guys next time.